allergic conjunctivitis ocular allergies allergies of the eyes this is what we shall be speaking about today again a very common condition that has been increasing in prevalence across the world and even in india we see this affecting up to 5 to 10% of the population and even more so people who have nasal allergies allergic rhinitis tend to get affected with this condition hi i'm dr sitesh roy your super specialist in allergy immunology and asthma coming to you with this video on allergic conjunctivitis so allergic conjunctivitis friends is something that can begin in childhood i will often see a child who's only 2 or 3 years old coming to me with red itchy watery eyes which progressively gets worse and can even go to the extent of causing scarring in their eyes if it is not treated in a timely manner most of these individuals would obviously see an ophthalmologist and eye specialist first but when the eye specialist recognizes that this is due to allergies they are able to refer those cases to us and even patients themselves by recognizing the symptoms come and see us when we evaluate such children and also adults or adolescents with ocular allergies we do an allergy skin test which helps us identify whether it's indoor allergens or outdoor allergens that are triggering their symptoms amongst indoor allergens house dust mite is the commonest one pet dander can also sometimes cause ocular allergies and when people come around pet dogs or cats they suddenly find themselves sneezing and having itchy watery red eyes and these can be signs of ocular allergies with nasal allergies the same thing can occur with molds molds can be indoors in areas that are damp or have leakage in the house or in a workplace there can also be allergies due to outdoor allergies the commonest one being pollen grass pollen tree pollen weed pollen and these ocular allergies can be seasonal which they come at certain times of the year or they can be perennial all year round in whatever form they occur they tend to cause a lot of inconvenience and problem for the people who have them when we do an allergy skin test and in some cases a blood test to identify the triggers once we have identified them we give our patients the methods and systems to reduce their exposure to those airborne allergens indoor or outdoor also we tell them how to reduce irritants that can make problems worse such as indoor pollutants which may be smoke producing substances or strong chemicals also many a time a lot of screen time can be a big problem that makes the ocular allergies even worse due to the strain on the eyes once we take care of the avoidance measures we then utilize medications which can include both oral medications as well as medications to put in the eyes and by doing this we are able to give relief to the patient eventually a process called immunotherapy by which we can desensitize the patient from that allergen becomes a very powerful way to reduce and possibly even permanently change the natural history of that allergic condition we must also remember that those people who have allergic rhinoconjunctivitis which is nose and eye allergies or allergic conjunctivitis eye allergies are at increased risk for having other allergic diseases in their body so friends if you know someone who has allergic rhinitis allergic conjunctivitis please have them get evaluated with an allergy specialist get the right testing get the right treatment because it can make all the difference to them enjoying a full complete uh, happy life till next time take care stay safe god bless us all